All right, I thought I would do a little instructional video on the cabling of the Exploradome uh, shutter automation system uh, as it applies to uh, my particular dome. Uh, this is using the, what was, I guess maybe still is, the latest uh, pulley mechanisms. Um, the pulleys aren't um, inside the dome there. One of them is actually mounted on the outside and I'll show you that in a photograph that you can find later on. Um, standard motor which I believe in the instructions that come with the uh, shutter system which are sadly lacking. Uh, sorry Dan. Um, the motor is mounted over this way so your mileage may vary on how it's wound. However, uh, while, what I wanted to point out um, when you put this thing together is you want to wind the inner spool first and it's very important that you orient the cable um, so that it wraps this way and then goes over the front and up the top and then over the top of the uh, nylon bushing and at this point uh, it goes out the observatory to the uh, pulley on the outside and then back in through the top and then to the spring mechanism. Um, the key to getting this to work is the, the tension and what I finally ended up doing is making sure that it's essentially under tension all the time. Um, that seems to really help, especially when you're closing it. This one will, will get pretty slack and the problem that I had is these two cables uh, jumping the uh, bushing here and then getting tangled up and then tearing everything out and it leads to kind of a total system failure. Uh, it took me three days to get this thing back uh, tuned so to speak uh, to where it would work flawlessly. Anyway, once you spool this one up um, and you can rotate the motor and uh, let it spool by hand uh, or you can do it manually however um, you'll want to address the other pulley. This one is just opposite. Um, once you get this one installed and, and tensioned and out of your way, uh, you'll install the cable here. But this one's going to go basically uh, underneath the backside. This one goes over and over the top of the pulley. This one goes underneath and then underneath the pulley and over the top and then goes out to your other pulley which is mounted on the shutter itself. Uh, again, spring tension is critical. You'll be doing a lot of playing here getting it um, so that it's taut. Now what I'm going to do, now I'm using a Digital Dome Works from Technical Innovations um, system as opposed to the Foster. But we're going to try and open it and you'll see how the cable pulls it open. And uh, eventually it'll hit a limit switch, which is right here. Notice how one's spooling, the other one's unspooling, and it'll stop. So now we're dealing with just the opposite. We got a full spool and an empty spool. Now to close it is where I started having trouble because what'll happen is so there'll be some. Now you see how this is a little on the loose side right here. Uh, with the spring tension, it's not quite under tension yet. And this is where you can run into trouble with the uh, cables, especially if you've kinked the cables, uh, if you've done anything to damage them. Uh, a, a kink spot will come along and it can jump that track and then the two will get hung up. And then you're in trouble. Now we're getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of stretch. Let's see if I can spin around here with that falling off. Mm. 
now you'll notice that the weight of the shutter allowed it to slide and drop and now we've got proper tension i still need to work on this i need to understand a little bit more about what's going on uh, i can probably uh, I've even, I'm, this is an actually a shorter spring that came OEM. You might even be able to go uh, a little bit shorter and keep it under even more tension all the time. I really think all my troubles went away. All my troubles went away when I finally got the proper spring tension at all times. Slack is your enemy in this particular system. And again, you want to wind the inner spindle first. Uh, you don't even want any cable attached to this one when you're doing this, trust me. No cable. And then once you get, and you're, gonna, and you're probably gonna have to manually move the shutter a couple of times to get your tensions and, and all that squared away. But once you get that side nice and tight and a little bit of spring tension on it, then you can get your cable uh, and if you're like me uh, probably your third trip to the hardware store i ruined several sets of cables with um just stupid mistakes so buy about 15 foot of the stuff i have no idea exactly what it takes but once you get this one spun up and set then this one's actually fairly easy just slide it through um, adjust the hex uh, screw to keep it in place and wire it down and put some tension on it. And then it's really just a bunch of uh, experimentation. A little bit of opening, a little bit of closing, see how the cables behave. Uh, if they're too loose, add some spring tension. Uh, if you need to, run to the hardware store and get a shorter spring, which is what I did. And um, eventually, it'll all kind of come together. Now, I believe the problem that I ran into, it worked fine for about, oh, I don't know, two months. And then I was installing a cloud sensor and was doing a lot of opening and closing. And I don't know if the warm winter that we had and, and stretching the cables, uh, eventually they got hung up right here. And it jammed the motor up and it pulled the uh, cables free from the stays. And I had a mess on my hands. And unfortunately, I didn't have good instructions on how this spool was was spun together and it took me quite a while to get it in my thick skull exactly how it needed to go but this works for me uh, now if your motor is mounted from the opposite direction uh, you're gonna have to probably invert all of this in your head uh, one thing I do caution against is resist all temptation of um, messing with the polarity of the motor to get it to turn the other direction if you think that it's not turning the right way. Um, I did that out of necessity because I had wound the spool kind of backwards. Unfortunately, what I failed to take into consideration when you reverse the polarity is it also messes with the limit switches, which will cease to function unless you reverse them as well. So don't ever mess with the polarity of the motor however your system is set up. Uh, it's, it's all, the, the magic is all in how you spin the cables and how they're wound and how they're set. I hope this helps. I'll try and post this up. I've got some photographs and I'm going to put a little description together so maybe other people in the future, uh, myself included, can go back and look at this video and uh, remember how it's done. Good luck.